Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to the session on Sonar Cube Scanner for Gradle. In this session, we are going to look at how to integrate Sonar, Sonar Cube Scanner Gad, Gradle with the Jenkins. So before we proceed with this session, first we need the few uh, pre-requests to proceed with this video. That is, first one is you need to install the latest Gradle, uh, latest version on your, uh, on your computer and then you need to create a project which you need to analyze the uh, source code using the sonar cube scanner and then if you want to send any email notification after jenkins passing your uh, code and uh, building your project then you need to have the smtp server details and then uh, you need to have the jenkins server up and running so I am assuming that you already having the uh, Gradle, uh, Gradle software already installed on, on your computer and then you have a GitHub or any uh, source control system either it might be a Git or SVN or any other op uh, another control uh, source control system you already installed uh, in your for your project and then uh, SMTP server optional this is going to be optional. But then uh, if you want to integrate this Sonar scanner with uh, for Gradle with the Jenkins, then Jenkins you need to install and uh, it needs to be up and running. So I am assuming all these details you already having with and then by assuming that I am going to proceed with this session. And first of all, what we need to do is first you need to go to your build grad proper uh, build at Gradle property for the Gradle proper uh, for the Gradle and then you need to include the sonar cube um, plugin that is uh, if you are using the latest version of the um, uh, gradle then this uh, syntax is going to be uh, uh, enough that means in the build at gradle properties you just add the plugins there you can specify what is the version of the sonar cube so this will be taken care of actually uh, building your project so this is the only one dip, uh, one plugin you need to add before we uh, you push these changes to your SVN or any GitHub. Then uh, once you push the changes to your Gradle project, then the next uh, next steps I am going to show you uh, how to integrate with the Jenkins. But if you want to test in your locally whether this is going to be working fine or not, then what you can do is go to your uh, the uh, github or the local svn or where you have uh, uh, check out your code and there you can see build that gradle properties file from here just to open in uh, command prompt and uh, try to build your project that means gradle clean first clean the project and uh, it is going to clean your uh, build gradle project and uh, then we are going to run the sonar uh, cube command okay so this is this is cleaning yeah clean is completed then what you can what you can run the command is gradle sonar cube okay that is the simple command you are going to uh, enter then what it is going to do is it is trying it is going to analyze your source code of your project and then it will send the report uh, this report to your uh, sonar cube server that means i just have to uh, mention one more uh, one more one more uh, require pre request is it is sonar uh, sonar cube server should be up and running okay this is also then what happens is when it is running this project uh, when it is analyzing the source code this is going to analyze and this will report will be sent to the sonar server this is how we can build our project locally and can see uh, whether it has uh, uh, it has uh, uh, analyzed the source code properly or not and uh, later we will see how to integrate this one with the Jenkins. so it says that build is successful so all the uh, 
tasks has completed now if you want to access the report then you need to go to the sonar cube server how i can access the sonar cube server is it is local host and a default uh, um, port number is going to be 9000 this click enter you see here so my project is the gradle project and if you see the last update time is the current one so this is the just now i it is my local computer time so just now it has analyzed it and if you go little bit um yeah if you go inside of the project you can see the basic gradle project whatever we have created okay so this is the technical issue just i am clicking it but this is the correct project we are looking at just want to show that okay if you see here the name is src main java library and if you go to my uh, eclipse and if i see the project then you can see that library this is the class we are just analyzed okay so hope this is uh, clear now what we are going to do is same project now we are going to integrate with the jenkins okay now what i am going to do is i am opening the my jenkins okay my uh, local jenkins server is up up already up so i am going to use my uh, uh, admin credentials to log in into the jenkins server now i am going to create a new project or new uh, job i would say it is the project i would say new job here i am saying gradel test as a project name i'm saying freestyle project and then click okay Okay, so it comes to the configure screen now i need to provide the couple of things here the first one is it is a github project so for the github project we need to provide the url for that uh, github project so here i have uh, created in uh, sample github project and that i named as a jenkins test and um, the here i uploaded the, the test uh, uh, gradle project now i am going to give the same path this is the path you can use for the clona download so the same command some same url we are going to provide here okay and if we comes down here we see the source code management uh, source code management here we are using the git so we will provide the what is the git uh, hub url that is the repository url and it needs to have the credentials also so you need to provide the credentials now what it is going to do is it will connect it to this repository using these credentials and first it will download the uh, source code from the uh, github to your uh, from the, to the jenkins and then it will start uh, trying to start the the, uh, the uh, sonar uh, sonar cube scanner build command okay now if you have any different uh, branch you are giving for your project then you can uh, give but by default i have given as a master branch okay and then uh, build triggers it is based on your uh, your requirement if you want to do it with a periodically then go with this option or if you want to uh, if you want to build based on the some commit happen to the github then you can select che the check boxes because these things i already explained in the previous my session with uh, how to integrate with the maven so i am not explain i am not going in detail about this one and then uh, you can select uh, uh, build environment is um, every time before it starts you can select as a delete and then you this is the main command we are going to use the build now what we are going to do is we are going to execute the windows command that is gradle clean sonar cube okay and then 
if you want this is the only uh, command it is enough to uh, to analyze the sonar uh, it, it is going to analyze the sonar scanner and the it will send the report to the sonar cube this single command is going to be enough now if you want to set up any further um, after the build is successful if you want to do some other activities for example if you want to send an email notification then you can select this activity so in the previous session i already explained how to configure this uh, smtp server before you uh, come to this section i will explain this one in later uh, after uh, some time but if you want to send an email notification then what you need to do is after post build actions you can select uh, any uh, activity from here okay so that's all and uh, as of now i'm saving this um, uh, project okay so i have just saved it now what i am going to do is i am going to build the project so i click on this build so now it got scheduled so what it is going to be uh, what it is going to happen now is it will try to uh, pull the uh, source code from the svn then it will start try to execute the gradle command whatever we have provided that is what it is going to happen so in the meantime what we are going to do is we, i will show you how to configure the smtp uh, server details once again so let us go to the main screen where you have the manage jenkins and here you have uh, an option to select configure uh, it is still loading okay so it comes to the manage screen where you have the system configure system click on this uh, configure system now in this screen you have an option to uh, configure smtp server details if you come to scroll down here you will see email notification session here you can configure the smtp server for example if you are using the gmail then smtp.gmail.com okay, this is going to be the gmail and you want to go with the advanced uh, uh, session because smtp always works based on the authentication so here uh, you need you need to go with the use smtp authentication for example if it is gmail then you need to provide the gmail account here and a gmail account password okay and uh, similarly if you want to provide the reply address and here these are the this is the session where you need to configure the smtp server details and once you provided that if you want to see whether that uh, um, whatever the smtp configuration you have provided is correct or not then click on this uh, checkbox test configuration by sending the test email and he can provide here the email address and click on this test configuration then it will it is going to send a test email with the uh, whatever the email you are provided that means whatever the smtp configuration you have provided that is correct so now we will again go back to our um, build history okay i am not saving these things okay and uh, if i see the gradle test this is the test we have uh, executed and it completed successfully so now i am going to this gradle test and if you want to see what are the uh, steps it has uh, executed while executing this um, uh, job then you can go to the uh, you can you can click on this last uh, bill so if you go to the console output 
here you can see the list of uh, tasks it has actually done. First what it has done is it has uh, connected to this uh, GitHub and then it has uh, using the credentials and then it has downloaded that code to the Jenkins and then it start executing the Gradle clean sonar cube command Gradle clean sonar cube and then build got successful. Now what happens is the Jenkins now will send the sonar uh, reports to the sonar cube. Now if you want to see whether it is really applied or not, you can just access the home page. I am going to home page. Then you can see the, the latest updated time for the uh, project is 23.30. That means just now it has refreshed it. So if you go in detail, it is going to be the same uh, same analysis what earlier it has shown when we test when we test same thing on the local. So this is how you need to uh, analyze you need to analyze the sonar cube uh, report for the Gradle, and uh, you can integ and also you can integrate the same thing with the uh, Jenkins. So I, I'm going to iterate once again, what are the steps we have done is, first, the pre-request is, you need to create an Gradle project. And in that Gradle project, you need to add the plugin for the Sonar Cube. And once this is done, if you want to test whether this is working fine in your locally, just go to the command prompt and you can execute the Gradle command, like Gradle clean, and then you can say Gradle uh, sonar cube then it will run and it automatically push this report to your sonar cube that means from your local you are uh, you are able to upload the sonar cube report to your local sonar cube server then you can integrate the same thing with the Jenkins in order to integrate first you need to push this code to github or some SVN from there you need to configure the you need to configure that project in the Jenkins so just to go to uh, create a new job and just pointing the uh, just you can configure the um, SV, SEM details in the Jenkins and just you need to provide the details of the uh, details of the SCM and also the command which you need to execute with that you are going to achieve uh, achieve integrating your sonar scanner with, uh, with Gradle into the Jenkins. Hope you are clear with the concept. If you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. And uh, please do subscribe to get more technical, uh, 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 technical videos from my end. Thanks for watching.